it's hard to imagine that specific naturally reproducing fish in New Jersey streams could impact future development. Division of Fish and Wildlife Biologist Sean Krauss, along with seasonal workers Luke Diglio and Scott Collenberg, are electrofishing to determine what species are present in this tiny tributary to the south branch of the Raritan River. Uh, we're going to use a backpack electrofishing unit to, to survey the stream. Uh, we'll be collecting the fish as we go, uh, identifying them to the species level, and then we're going to measure them uh, and, and let them go. But first, a 150-meter stretch of water is marked off and will become the representation of the stream as a whole. A net is placed to prevent the fish from moving out of the designated survey area. Today we're going to use electricity, uh, small amounts in a very controlled manner, uh, to, to stun and capture fish. Here's how it works. A probe at the end of a long pole, which is connected to the battery-powered unit, delivers electrical current into the water. Fish in the vicinity of the probe will feel the electrical shock and temporarily lose muscle control, allowing the two netters There's to one. collect the fish. Nice brook trout. It's important work because their findings may determine the levels of protection the surrounding land will receive from the DEP. The key fish targeted in the survey are trout. The particular significance of finding brook trout is not only are they a great indicator species uh, that tell us that this is a very healthy stream in great condition, but they're also our only native trout in the state of New Jersey. Most people wouldn't think we have reproducing trout populations. Uh, We've lost about 50%, but we also still have about 50% of our trout waters. Once the fish are collected, they're identified by species and separated. They're measured, and then a clip is taken from the trout's caudal fin for future genetic study. Well, the fact that we found so many different age classes of, of trout really indicates a thriving population. Uh, we have young of the year, you know, two to three inches, maybe like that's the young of the year right there. Uh, everything up to this nice, mature uh, adult. Although electrofishing can sometimes result in a small percentage of fish mortality, today, all 160 fish netted in the survey, including 80 brook trout, were returned unharmed. Now that we found reproducing trout here, we can recommend it to our surface water quality standards uh, for an upgrade in classification. It, it truly is amazing. I mean, these, these, these small fish, uh, less than 100 millimeters, you know, two, two to three inches, have such a significant impact here. The fact that we found them, we're now going to be able to protect over a mile of stream just with two inches of fish.